Uh, all right, we, now we'll discuss the uh, maneuvers for uh, delivering a baby with shoulder dystocia. Uh, the basic definition of shoulder dystocia is when, when you need additional obstetric maneuvers to deliver the shoulders uh, rather than the simple gentle traction or lateral traction that is usually uh, sufficient to deliver shoulder, the shoulder in uh, most normal deliveries. Uh, so initially when uh, the baby, the, the head comes out and the shoulders don't come out and and uh, the, you are called uh, to manage the situation. Uh, you recognize that shoulder dystocia is an emergency. Uh, it's an obstetrical emergency, so you have to call for help and call as many assistants as possible and, of course, call the uh, senior obstetrician and gynecologist. Uh, after that, you put the patient on a flat bed and uh, in a low position. Uh, the flat bed will make the uh, lumbosacral area more flat and this will uh, enlarge the area for uh, to facilitate the delivery uh, more and the low position to well facilitate the the delivery on your part uh, other than that, uh, you should empty the bladder, again to facilitate the delivery, and uh, have a generous episiotomy. Uh, all of these have obvious benefits. Uh, now, after that, the, the assistants come. So, the first thing to do is to do McRoberts maneuver. Uh, one assistant on each side, they will abduct and uh, hyperflex the thighs of the mother on her abdomen. This will again further flatten the, the lower back and will uh, further facilitate the delivery. Uh, and with this, while they are doing this, uh, below what you're doing is to do a lateral traction on the head in order to deliver it. Okay? So uh, this is reported, and this by itself can deliver a very large proportion, about 90% or so, uh, of all the shoulder dystocia. So you don't need the next steps. But for the remaining 10%, this will not be sufficient. So we switch to another maneuver. An, an assistant will be pushing through the lower abdomen in the suprapubic area. So if the baby is like this, of course, you don't see this uh, in normal patients. Uh, so the, the assistant will be pushing on the posterior aspect of the anterior shoulder. Anterior shoulder is the shoulder that is closer to the front of the mother's abdomen. So they'll be pushing like this, okay? And you, will, you on the other side, will be doing the traction again. Okay, so you do the traction with all of these maneuvers. Now, this pressure can be constant or it can be in a, in a rocking way. And I can either do this constantly and the other one is uh, doing the lateral traction or I can do it in a rocking maneuver. Okay, that is an intermittently and I'm doing the traction. So we suppose that again, this is not useful. So we switch to the next maneuver. And by the way, all of these maneuvers, so the McRoberts alone, the suprapubic pressure and each of the next ones, each should not take more than 30 seconds. If it reaches 30 seconds and it's not useful, we switch to the next one. So the next one to switch to is called Rubens. You go through the vagina and by two fingers, you push on the posterior aspect of the anterior shoulder. Kind of like the suprapubic, but you're doing it through the vagina. And again, you'll do traction to deliver the baby. If this is not useful after 30 seconds, you keep this pressure and you add the other two fingers and push on the anterior aspect of the posterior shoulder and then try to deliver the baby. This is called wood screw, okay, wood screw. If this is not useful, you reverse your hand, so you push on the anterior aspect, uh, anterior aspect of the uh, anterior shoulder and the posterior aspect of the posterior shoulder, and you reverse the pressure and try to deliver. If this is not useful, so we switch to the next one. First, we will try to deliver the posterior arm, that is the arm that is close to the back of the mother, the posterior arm, okay? So we deliver this. Now, in order to deliver this one as well, we'll rotate the baby in the direction of the face and the uh, chest and abdomen. So we'll rotate the baby like this, okay? And then we'll deliver, this is of course outside, and then we'll deliver the, uh, the other arm as well, and this may facilitate the delivery. Suppose that this is also not useful. In that case, we have to put the mother on all fours, and that is on her hands uh, and on her legs. Okay, uh, and what we can do in that position, so let's assume that the mother is now on all fours. Uh, in this case, we can either uh, exert uh, the traction, downward traction on, the, on this shoulder. This is the posterior shoulder because it's close to the back of the mother. So you can exert downward traction here and then uh, take it out. Or we can exert upward traction on the anterior shoulder and then also take it out. If even this is not useful, then you, you have to go to operation either in the form of symphysiotomy uh, or in the form of caesarean section. Thank you. Uh, one thing I forgot uh, is that the caesarean section that you do, it's 
Uh, well, before that, it's called Zavanel's maneuver. You have to push the head back into the, uh, into the uterus, and then you do the caesarean section.